YouTube, Anna here. So I am here to film Cece's uh, 15 month update. I just had her appointment, we just got back from it, she's down for a nap right now. She had her shots, so it was just one shot, but it had like three things in it. Um, yeah, so she's kind of groggy and out of it, but uh, we gave her medicine beforehand so that she wasn't in too much pain and it was really just like a snap of a finger and she was like ah, okay I'm okay <laughs> and I got to hold her during her shot so I was okay with that too because I just want to be there to comfort her so badly so let me get into the stats first of all she weighs 21.55 pounds <laughs> Last time she weighed like 21.2 pounds, so she's only gained like 0 0.2, 0 0.3 pounds. Um, not that much, but Dr. Tom told me eventually it will level off, um, that she won't keep being like 60 or so in the 60th percentile because she's so active and she's like running around like crazy. Um, I've actually sort of like loosened the reins a little bit on what she's eating um, this pa these past three months. Um, I used to be like, she only eats organic, she won't have anything with sugar in it, um, like very specifically. But we bought like organic whole um, Honey Nut Cheerios, so she's been eating a little bit of sugar in that. Um, they don't have a ton of sugar. But yeah, so she's had that, and when we're out in restaurants, I'll get her, like for breakfast, I'll get her a pancake with no syrup, or last time she ate French toast with no syrup, but they also dusted it with powdered sugar, and I was like, shoot, I don't want to give it to her. <laughs> but I did, it was just a little bit, like not even enough to cover the top, it was just like little dust. So. Anyway, I haven't been freaking out about that. She doesn't drink juice. She doesn't drink milk. She only drinks water. Um, and so all of her calories are coming from the fruits and the vegetables. She eats a little bit of meat, like chicken, turkey. Um, but yeah, she doesn't eat a whole lot of beef. She doesn't like pork that much. So that's what she eats. She's also 30 inches well, 30 and 3 quarter inches long, so she's almost 31 inches long, which is crazy. I was like estimating like, oh, like 26 inches, or my husband said 26 inches, and, or did he say 27 inches? And I said like 24 inches or 23 inches, I don't even remember what I said, but it was something ridiculous because I didn't, I don't have any concept of how tall 30 inches is at all, but now I do. <laughs> um, so what she's been doing lately, like yesterday she started jumping for the first time where she'll like bend down really far and then like try to jump and get some air, but it's more like a da -da. <laughs> like it barely, she like is barely getting any air really. She's just like galloping kind of, but she's really trying to jump. And she did jump once, but her hands were on the coffee table and she was jumping, so it was really cute. That was the first time she's done that. She's been doing a ton of mimicking. Um, she's trying to repeat the words back to me. I was trying to say like red or yellow and she tries to say it back to me which is I think really cute. She also um, has been mimicking the songs that I sing to her. So right now I'm singing her some Beach Boy songs and uh, she's been trying to like ba 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 for Barbara Ann, um, and she of course she mimics shaving my leg or her legs. So when she's in the bath, she'll prop up her leg on the side of the tub and like pat her knees and her legs, which is super cute. Um, her favorite thing to do is to fill some container up and then dump it out. That's like her favorite thing. That's her go-to thing. Keeps her entertained for hours. It's great. Um, makes a mess, <laughs> but you know, it's good, it's fine. She loves to feed herself. Um, right now she's not really 
so good with the spoon. She's getting better, but if I give her something with a spoon, she'll try to grab the spoon from me and then eat it. And what she does is like, if the spoon is out flat, she'll take it to her mouth and then turn it sideways so that it just like spills before it hits her. So it spills all over her bib before it even hits her mouth. It's, it's cute. Forks, she can eat off of a fork like no problem. Um, I will stab the food for her and then give it to her and then she'll eat it and it's perfect. I love forks. They're the best invention ever. Um, she dances like a crazy person. <laughs> Whenever there's music, my husband was holding her at this concert that we were at, like a big outdoor concert. and. She, he was holding her, talking to some other adults, and then she started, like, flapping her wing. <laughs> and that's, like, her sign that she has to dance. Like, get me down, I want to dance. And then for the rest, like, of the hour that we were at the concert, it was just, like, she just danced the whole time, and she'll just stop, and she'll shake. Even when she's mad, and she's done this for a really long time, even if she's mad, so she's, like, <laughs> and she hears music, she'll go, <laughs> And just like cr fake cry, or like she actually has tears in her eyes, but she'll keep dancing. <laughs> it like it's a compulsion of her. She like has to do it. So she's definitely a dancer. Um, her favorite movies are Frozen and Tangled. She whenever she wants to watch Frozen, she'll run to the TV and turn it on because she knows how to do that now. And then she'll do this. And I'll say, are you doing the magic, Cece? Because there's a little scene where she does the magic and Elsa does this and then throws up the snowball. And so that's what she does. When she wants to watch a movie, she's like doing the magic and she'll run up to you. Um, let's see. Oh, she likes to rearrange the furniture. Not like the couch or anything. But the kitchen chairs she will just take them and like drag them to the other side we have like her little activity play area that's just plastic it's like her jumper that she used to be in but it unfolds into like an s shape and she will drag that across the <laughs> the floor and then she'll play with it and then she'll try to scoot it back it's really cute but it's pretty lightweight so she does that um and Right now, we're just in sort of like crunch mode for planning our um, cruise and our Walt Disney World trip. I mean, we've already planned everything out totally, because that's our style. But um, we're doing like the fish extender um, on the cruise, which is going to be really excited. So we're like getting all of the gifts together for the fish extender. And if you don't know what, know what that is, um, you can Google it. It's like a gift exchange program that you do with these people that you sort of email beforehand and let them know what you like, what you don't like, all that stuff. So anyway, we're getting all that together, which is really exciting. Um, we are planning a brunch at Palo, which is like a two to four hour brunch. Like, it's seriously like seven courses. It's crazy. Um, for our 10 year anniversary, which is coming up in December. So... It's kind of crazy that we're been married for 10 years, first of all, that's insane. And uh, we're celebrating our 10 year anniversary with little Disney World stuff, um, which is super cool because we honeymooned at Disney World and like Disney is just near and dear to our hearts. So I'm really excited for the brunch and then Doug has also planned um, like a carriage ride when we're at Disney World. Um, he's also... We're sort of kicking around an idea of doing um, like a, I don't even know what it's called. I think it was called Sparkling Illuminations, Sparkling World Showcase, something like that. Oh, gosh, I can't remember the name of it. Anyway, um, so we were planning on doing something like that, which is like a little private thing where um, they serve you like desserts and sparkling wines. Um, but I'm on bromocryptine, so I can't drink any alcohol. It makes me incredibly sick, and I hope to be pregnant by then. So <laughs> I can't drink. So I think we might switch that one for something else. We'll see. But anyway, so we are in just go, go, go mode. We, are, we have an application for CC's passport that we are getting ready to complete 
this week and then I can't believe she's gonna have a passport like that's insane my first passport I got in 2014 <laughs> and our baby is having a passport before then before she's two uh, because our cruise is going to the Bahamas and we we don't necessarily need one to go to the Bahamas but if anything happens if she gets sick if she needs to be like medically flown out of the Bahamas um, she needs a passport in order to enter the country and so it's really just like worst case scenario that's the only reason why we're getting a passport um, so yeah anyway that's Cecilia's 15 month update I will try to insert pictures of her because she's asleep for this update um, and let you guys know or let you guys see her because she's adorable I love her anyway I love you guys and I will talk to you later bye